the what snuck in the bag. Get out of here, guy. And here we are, finally. After almost a year, we've gotten to the final video of this trip. Trip, once again, was four and a half weeks and uh, covered a lot of places. Hi, currently in uh, Poiku, my dad's hometown, and we are at an ethnic village. Gonna eat some dinner. <laughs> So throughout the night, periodically, they do these uh, traditional dances and play these instruments and go around pretty much an entire place. They seem to repeat the same dance moves over and over again, so it's easy to follow, which you'll see they encourage people to join in. This is my cousin Ha, and she is opening up a bamboo shoot with rice that's been cooked inside of it. I think it's pretty popular in this province because everywhere we went, we usually would see it available. Rice cooked in bamboo, all right. She made it look so easy to open that I thought I'd give it a shot. And uh, yeah, it is not as easy as it looks. So apparently in this bottle here is rice wine, and it is meant to be shared. So they want us to try it, and we tried it, and it was interesting. He said it was liquor. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. As the night progressed, uh, eventually we had this uh, group of guys uh, come over and, and play their guitars and sing us a song, several songs, I believe three or four songs, um, to close out the night, uh, which was pretty fun, cool. And then to end all of it, they encouraged everybody to kind of come in and do this dance around this uh, bonfire. There's Tao and Max and ants. Time! Good job. Woke up pretty early this morning. Eat some pho, pho ball, because it's better than pho gai. Way better. Apparently we're eating Fuck all? Is that what she said? Fuck, fuck all? What? Is that what she said? Fuck all? Okay. Really? <laughs> What'd you call this? Fuck all. Fuck all. Fuck all. Fuck all. Fuck all. Dry noodles, okay. <laughs> never had this before. Have you had this before? Never had this before. Yeah, I've never had this. Before. I've never seen it before. This pho is new to me. Fucko, fucko, fucko. So apparently the soup comes on the side and you drink that versus just putting it together. So that's new. Okay, off to another city. Deconstructed pho, that's what I call it. And it was good. We're pretty much heading about an hour or so outside of the city to go to another place to see a waterfall and um, I guess this sacred holy ground where there was this um, famous statue of Mary. Um, but here we are at a, another rest area where you saw the bamboo shoots and it's just a bunch of hammocks <laughs> laid out. 
And then behind all of this is this building where there are these beautiful statues made of wood, <laughs> uh, which you have never would have guessed was all back there um, when you needed to go use the restroom. Uh, it was just all kind of tucked away. And here we are uh, at this statue of Mary, uh, which supposedly has uh, a lot of healing powers. When my dad was very sick uh, a few years ago, um, I believe my aunts came here uh, to pray for his wellness. Uh, look, make my own sabbat. <laughs> so when we finally got home to actually try it, it wasn't very good. <laughs> This next part here, we are making our way to the waterfall, which was totally unexpected because I didn't think it would look yes. the way it did. But uh, it was it was pretty quite surprising, and um, you know you had to walk through this little section here first uh, to get to it. But as you can see, it's in the background there, and it's uh, uh, a sight to see. There were actually quite a number of um, vantage points that you can get to uh, for photo opportunities and such, uh, which was surprising because normally you would go to a place and there weren't that many places you could take a photo uh, and, and get something cool in the background. But here, there were several locations that you could do that from. That was pretty much it. And now we are heading back into the city to eat dinner with uh, some of my other cousins and aunts and, and relatives on my dad's side. Um, we ate at this restaurant, which was totally unexpected, but the view was great. Um, it looked like we were on top of this hill. Uh, it's at night, uh, you can see all the lights, uh, grilled meat, uh, which is something that uh, I love. Uh, so it was perfect. And we are done with my dad's hometown, Play Ku, and we are headed to Yachang, which is another beach town, and it is six hour car drive. In my aunt's store, it used to be across the street when I was much younger, like 10. And now that we're visiting it 30 years later, this is huge. So yeah, when I was 10 years old, I, I do remember visiting her original store, which was across the street, much smaller, and um, it did not look like this at all. Um, obviously, times have changed and technology has gotten a lot more advanced, but uh, at the time, it, it was a pretty cool store from what I recall. I remember playing retro video games that weren't available in the United States, because uh, I think they were all knockoffs. Wow, this is a really nice store. Yeah, very deep. So deep. So over the years, it's pretty much evolved into this uh, building where all the floors that she owns and living quarters for her, and there's a room dedicated for karaoke, which is awesome. I mean, I nicknamed her the Queen of Pleiku for a reason. Uh, well, Dow, we're gonna move here now, okay? Okay. So after visiting my aunt's place, we are off to Nyachang that six hour ride I mentioned. I've been there before, and uh, it'll be kind of cool to go and revisit to see what it looks like now. Currently at a rest stop, which I think is some guy's house, but he's not here. So we just peed <laughs> in his backyard. <laughs> Yeah, my, what, my five subscribers are gonna watch this? <laughs> Report me to some rando that I don't even know where we're at. But yeah, we're just hanging out. We don't see anybody who would, I guess, normally be here.
Yeah, so as I was putting this video together, I noticed uh, I, I did film a lot of cows on the road just because I thought that was pretty neat and interesting to see that <laughs> there was just a lot of them all the time. <laughs> While on this long journey, uh, the landscape started to get pretty neat. So I took out my drone and we uh, stopped the van and took a little break while I pretty much flew this around the area just to kind of get the um, perspective from up high, see what it all looked like. And uh, it was pretty cool. I liked it a lot. Uh, you can see that lake way out in the distance. Uh, you got these mountains here. Um, tiny little van that you can see right there and it was just uh, very very neat to see as we were uh, traveling So after we got back in the van, I had it follow us for a little while until it couldn't keep track of us. And uh, we were back on the road. And here we are in the middle of the road waiting for this uh, group of cattle to pass us by. I don't know, something about it just fascinates me. <laughs> you know the rest area where there was actually people there and we got served food, which was great. Got to uh, the Natrang uh, Hotel and I don't even know what we're looking at. This thing's amazing. See this lobby? It's crazy. What do you think of the lobby, Toad? Pretty good. Here's your kid. <laughs> So cool, so cool, so fancy. 25th floor, fantastic room, great view of the city. It's night, I'll show it again Wednesday. But this is nice, they got a gym. Can't wait, gonna use that cause I feel heavy. I thought when I was gonna go to Vietnam, I was gonna eat less. Turns out I'm eating more. That or I'm just eating regular. I'm not exercising as much as I usually am and pretty sure I gained some weight, but I'm gonna hit the gym in the morning. Nighttime is when everybody comes out to play. Beach really comes alive at night because nobody comes out during the day because it's stupid hot. It's a big difference from here in the United States. <laughs> yeah. Morning time, and this is what we see out our window. Didn't see any of this last night. Woo! The other side of this view is the beach, but. This isn't bad either. So we were pretty much revisiting some of the areas uh, that we were in um, the, the previous night because you couldn't see anything. So it looks pretty different uh, during the day. I mean, we couldn't even see the beach. So on this day, we are going to a beach on an island. And what was crazy is when we got there, um, we had all these people want to take us out to, uh, to the island. And uh, they were really aggressive. Um, so we ended up having to leave that area um, and going to uh, another place uh, much further down the road to eat first and then get a ride out. But yeah, those guys were really, really aggressive to a point where they were throwing their business cards at us as we were piling back into the car. They were just chucking it through the windows like ninja stars. <laughs> so our first stop is actually uh, 
to a section where there's good photo opportunity because uh, these uh, rock formations, which are pretty unique. I mean, look at that. That's pretty cool. And then now we are headed out to uh, another island uh, so we could relax on the beach for a couple of hours. So I took my 360 camera out to capture the surrounding area, which was very nice, very pretty. Um, but uh, so my advice is to not use third-party batteries that are not waterproof. I made the mistake and once it got in the water, uh, it was done. But I was able to uh, salvage some of the footage. Hey Max. This man here with the best outfit that I need to buy <laughs> right now. I'm gonna buy this right now. This is amazing. <laughs> I haven't bought any outfits from Vietnam. This is the only outfit I'm gonna buy, and it's this one, and it's the best. Who I did? Covered in bananas. This is great. I love it. You love banana? I love Joey. <laughs> Spent all day on this island, and all I could think about is this great. Great banana suit. I love it. Ah, uh, so good. Okay. I love it. Hey, it happened. Oh, 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 it happened. We're brothers now. Yes. <laughs> this is amazing. This is the best suit ever. I love it. Same to me, same to me. Don't Fun Joy forever. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you love Joy. We're headed back into the city to eat some dinner now. Uh, wearing our banana outfits, uh, but check out this traffic. So to get into this traffic circle, you just kind of go real slow, which is what I've noticed with all of traffic uh, and, and lights that are just suggestions really, but you just kind of go slow and everybody goes around you, <laughs> which is wild to see, but um, it works, but yeah. <laughs> more grilled meat and I'm not complaining it was great that's butter with ketchup <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Love me some knockoffs. Boom. The marvelous Aengans. That translates to 76 USD. 76 cents USD. <laughs> I love them. I love it. I can buy this whole shelf. <laughs> among us, it's they are among. And you collect six models can form a werewolf killing team. I don't know what that is, but I wish that was real in the game. I love these two and ones. Instead of Bugatti, it's a Buzati. Just like that, our trip in Yatrang has ended and we are headed to Saigon for three nights. That was quick. So right before leaving and saying goodbye to everybody, Max had to uh, hug everybody uh, by doing this uh, running start, uh, which is um, his thing. <laughs> um, I had to fast forward through a lot of this. Uh, he actually ran through the entire lobby, um, 
for a lot of these <laughs> that I had to cut down or you'd be here for like five minutes <laughs> watching them just hug all our relatives. <laughs> And now we're headed to the uh, airport and to head back to Saigon instead of the six hour car ride. Thank goodness. Ooh. Having lounge access is nice in an airport. Food, it's not busy in here. It's nice. And here we are. The last few days in Saigon. So the place that we're staying at is next to this Vincom Center, which is a huge building that gets lit up at night. But inside, it's a big old shopping mall with an ice skating rink and lots of places to eat. And shop <laughs> and eyeballs. <laughs> this building at nighttime. See stuff like this, you don't even think you're in Vietnam anymore. So, across the street from where we're staying in that Vincom Center is this very large park area and it is very very nice to see at night uh, just because everything is lit okay. up the, it's just so vibrant this grass uh, the trees uh, very peaceful and calming while we were out there afterwards uh, we went uh, to get something to eat and then look who came to join us. <laughs> Getting all over my pants. What's it called, huh? Bonair. Bonair. Dodging beef. We're dodging the uh we're dodging the beef. It's cooking, sizzling, and it's getting all over the place, and uh, it'll get you, man. <laughs> all over my pants. Never had this before. Looks good, though. Maybe. Hey, <laughs> Deconstructed on me. On me, no. Right, Tal? <laughs> After eating, we went to this large covered marketplace, uh, which also had a lot of food options as well. The place is so large, we ended up losing Tao. <laughs> so it's just B and I walking around so we can find them. Um, but after a while, uh, we did find them. Uh, but they said that it was going to be a while because they wanted to shop some more. So B, Max, and I went to the mall uh, to go hang out there. Inside this mall, they also had a Japanese capsule uh, toy store, which was pretty cool as well. Because they were all over Japan. And we thought it was going to be the last of that. But then uh, we go to Vietnam and there's some there too. And uh, here's Max playing in this giant ball pit for a while. They also had this arcade center, uh, which had little rides that you, you can get on and, and arcade uh, machines um, where you can win tickets and trade them in for prizes um, or just simply play video games. But uh, I think most of them were, were ticketed things. Afterwards, I did read about some um, Korean fusion food, which I was dying to try, so that's what we're doing here. Um, 
went to this popular one in Vietnam and uh, I had to try Korean food with, with cheese. Um, apparently that's a, a fusion thing because uh, I talked to a Korean friend and she's like, yeah, that's not, that's not typical Korean food, <laughs> but uh, it is a fusion. Um, it was good. I loved it. Final, final hours of our stay here, uh, we met up with my cousin and her kids um, at this park area that was across the street from where we were staying. Uh, so they got to hang out with each other, which was nice. Okay. And then Tal's niece came over with her kid um, to hang out with Max. So it was really cool to spend our last few moments uh, with family uh, so we can all hang out with each other because um, I don't know when the next time we'll see each other is. And that's it, that's the entire trip. Made it all the way through. For those who watched all of it, great, thanks. <laughs> I hope it inspires you to go. Um, leaving you with this footage of Ninh Binh, which is my new favorite place in Vietnam. So you should go. If you ever have the opportunity, make sure Ninh Binh's on there. Thanks for watching.